The hug pod, sleep pod move. I love it. I don't really like it. Let me explain. In the last year, I have not slept very well. Uh, it's been it's been a mixed bag. Uh, well, year and a half, really, ever, ever since the pandemic hit. Combined with the fact that I have two little ones that decide to wake up whatever time of the night and trying to make sure that me and my wife both get time together, time to watch movies, time to play games, time to eat together, talk about the things that are going on in our lives, you know, and, and the kids' lives and all of that and all that coming together. It's made it really difficult. I've only gotten maybe four or five hours of sleep uh, per night for the most part across the last year and a half. Um, waking up several times throughout the night, not being able to stay asleep three hours at a time. I'm a firm believer in quality sleep. In fact, I go out of my way to try uh, new pillows, new like body pillows, knee pillows, uh, new toppers for mattresses, new mattresses altogether. When I heard about this, the sleep pod, I was really intrigued. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, go uh, up here. It should. I'll, I'll try to get that video up in here for you to play, or, or I'll actually have it at the end of the video as well. I've tried all these different things, and I was like, oh man, this this sounds great. I really want this to work. And it does work. And that's one of the reasons I I love it. I love my my hug pod uh, or sleep pod, hug pod move. It's super comfortable, right? So let me start with the things that I, I love about this, right? It's very comfortable to sleep in. It absolutely hugs your body. It gives you that feeling of being hugged. And it's, you know, as we say in this house, uh, hugs are the best medicine, and uh, this is 110%. Uh, you know, th th this the hug, the hug pod. It, that's what it does. It hugs your body. Um, I felt like I absolutely fell in love with it after the first night of sleeping with it. But the the problem I generally run into is I like change in my sleep, whether it's swapping out pillows, like on a pretty regular basis, you know, rotating the mattress, uh, trying new toppers, things just constantly change. Actually, I tend to get better, better sleep then, uh, than I, than just doing something for every single night. It's incredible that we do something every single night and we're just so, we can be so terrible at that thing that we do every day of our lives. I felt like I could sleep, uh, you know, fall asleep a lot faster. I felt uh, right out of the gate. I felt like I could sleep through the night because I did and I felt like really rejuvenated after like the, after the first night. Even the second night I felt pretty good and third night I felt better and it's, it's progressively gotten better from there. Um, being able to easily get my feet out and walk around is a huge plus. Ding, ding for that. I love the feeling of comfort and the calmingness that comes with it. I, I, it's weird like it shouldn't feel like it shouldn't feel this good but but those are all the reasons I, I I just I love it and uh why I think that even at the price point of I think I paid about 80 bucks for mine I'm very happy with it it's hard to put a price on quality sleep if you're not in a position where you have kids and outside forces and things and you can like follow the sleep um you know the REM sleep patterns and stuff like that is so it's so awesome to be able to wake up at the end of rem sleep like it's great uh i feel so much more recharged and all that but it just happens so infrequently because of what this or that happens we wake up in the middle of the night so let me talk about why i don't like the hug pod if i think too much about it I actually start to feel pretty claustrophobic here. Let me let me zoom out the camera a little bit. So if I if I put my arms into this thing, right, um, it's it's cool. If I as long as I don't think about it, it's I don't feel like I'm claustrophobic. One thing I I really don't like is if I try to put it all the way up, like get it all the way up over my shoulders. Um, it pushes up against my neck and that is not a good feeling to me. Oh, it feels like something's like choking me. It, it's not pushing that hard, but it just doesn't feel 
that great. As soon as I get in bed, we, you know, me and my wife, we don't usually just go straight to sleep. We'll, we'll watch some YouTube or or, some, or, or videos or something. Um, and I don't like to lay in this thing. So it's like, I feel like I have to like one more step to get ready to go to bed before I go to bed. Uh, to It's just one more thing to think I feel like I'm coming out of a, oh man. Oh, it's warm too. The other thing I don't like is sleeping with other blankets on the bed. I can kind of feel like, like it feels uneven to me if I have this on and, and it just doesn't feel great. So I have to move all the, the blankets out of the way and like carve out my little space to sleep in. Now that might change once we get past some, you know, well, the rest of summer going into sp uh, fall, but I know seasons. Uh, it just, you know, it's just not something that it's a minor annoyance more. It's less of an annoyance than the, than the hug pod hugging my neck as I sleep. And the way I, I kind of beat that is, uh, I kind of pull, I just make sure I kind of pull it down. So it's more around the upper chest rather than like sitting on the neck, pulling, pulling across me like that. Um, going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, <laughs> it's not bad, but it's just like another thing to think about like I you know I can get my feet out of the bottom of the pocket and that, and that's fine go to the bathroom come back and then I just have to pull it off like I or pull it up I don't want to have to pull like get out of it and then have to work to get back in it in the dark uh and not wake up my wife in the process another thing is is I am a uh I like to sleep with a pillow between my knees so fortunately I have this little pillow that I can actually push down into the hug pod it's not the most, you know, elegant solution, but it's a solution. And I feel like it's better than trying to put the pillow on the outside of the hug pod because it's constantly pushing up against it, trying to basically push it out. So will I keep using it? Absolutely. The benefits far outweigh the things that I don't like about it. Uh, I don't know if I'll, I'll use it every single night, but uh, there's a lot of nights that I likely will continue to use it. Um, is it right for you? So I think it is, uh, though my wife tried this one. This is a large and it, it you know, it, it fits pretty well on me, but it didn't fit, it didn't fit her, right? She doesn't fit her sizes, uh, her size. So you, you need to make sure that you're getting one that is the right size for you based on their charts on their, uh, like on Amazon and stuff or on their website, make sure that you're getting the right size. So, uh, like for her, I think she would have to get a medium for it to, to really feel the effect of, you know, feeling in a cocoon kind of thing. Again, it's claustrophobic as anything, but uh, only if I think about it. If I don't think about it, I'm just comfortable and feel warm and calm and all those great feels come come with this. So I, I'm I'm very happy with it. I'm glad I took the time, you know, took the time to say, you know, let's 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 get this and, and try it out. So I, I think at the very least it's worth a try. I think you you should absolutely uh, think about getting one if you have trouble sleeping or, um, uh, you know, another thing that I didn't mention, another thing that I absolutely love is, I, be, you know, since wearing this, I've actually had started to have dreams that I can remember again when I wake up. Uh, I don't I don't know if it's attributed by this, but it had been a while since I had dreams that I woke up and could actually remember or vivid dreams that I could actually, you know, realize through. So, uh, I, I think you should give it a try. Um, again, I'll put the, the video to check out the my reaction video to their Shark Tank pitch. Uh, I'd love to have you guys reach out and uh, I'd love to chat and have you on for an interview uh, here on the Super Joe Pardo channel. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.